It's time for Friday Follies, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. Hi, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. I'm a mindlessly stylish, overpriced piece of junk. And I'm an ugly, reasonably priced, clunky, convoluted, crappy. Mm -hmm, Yep. However, I do have millions of cheap programs that do mostly what I want them to do. Whereas I have a handful of programs that do exactly what I need them to do but cost 10 to 50 times as much. Yeah, you sure do, don't you? But we do have one thing in common besides our bloated point-and-click OSs, though. Oh, yes, we both promise to improve your work time, free up your leisure time, and make your life so much better. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that's good <laughs> What do you like better, gallstones or kidney stones? Yeah, which one do you like better, Leopold or Loeb? <laughs> I life and Final Cut still kick your ass though Oh, shut up June 28th, 2006, and you are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. My name is Kyan Chris Conroy, and I am your host for the proceedings. I'd like to th- welcome you all to the podcast if this is your first time through the door, and I'd like to uh, welcome everybody else who's currently subscribed back. So thanks once again for tuning in and listening. I've got another hilarious show lined up for you this week, so kick back and relax and put your feet up on your hands and your hands in your back pockets and try to take all your clothes off and I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, enjoy the program. You know, nothing says the good old summertime like singing songs over the radio in an airless void or toasting marshmallows over a reactor core. This year, why not ship your kids off to Way Milky's Space Camp for a summer they'll never remember. Asteroid collecting, moon dust surfing, gravity polo, it's all here in the merciless vacuum of space. Two weeks of -of out-of-this-world fun, and remember, act now and receive free re-entry insurance and decontamination with your sign-up fee. And for an out-of-body experience, try Flatliner's near-death summer camp. Two weeks of family fun in a coma right at death's door. What can I do for you, eh? Are you the living embodiment of death? Oh, that's me. What's this about? No. These uh, comatose kids in the front yard, they're yours? Oh, jeez. No, they're not mine. I don't know. People tend to leave them out here during the summer for some reason. I don't know. All right, well, they're cluttering up the landscape here, so I'm going to have the city remove them if you don't mind. Oh, I don't mind at all. No, thanks for all your help, then. Not at all, citizen. Doing my job. By the way, you really are death, huh? Yeah, it's me. It's funny, I didn't expect you to be Canadian. Oh, you never heard the phrase, eat flaming Canadian death? No, not once. Well, if you did, it would have made a whole lot more sense now, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Well, I must be on my way. So long. So long. See you on August 23rd, 2031 at 3 p.m. <sighs> Thanks for ruining the surprise. Oh, don't worry. It won't be a surprise. Hello. This is your old friend in Grim Reaper, eh? You know, in a recent survey, 9 out of 10 people decided that given a choice, they'd rather not die. Well, tough darts. I don't make the rules around here, so if you got a problem with them, take it up with God, not me. The preceding has been a paid service announcement from Death. I'm Death, and I deserve this message. Approve! What? Hello, I'm Chester Ermine, and welcome back once again to the Apostle Hour. Woohoo! Hi. Thank you, Leonard. <laughs> Leonard Vizel's next, ladies and gentlemen. That's my keyboard player, Hello. as you know, for regular listeners. Hello. You're in a pretty perky mood today, Leonard. Well, of course uh, I am, Pastor. Do you know what day it is? Yes, I do, Leonard, but Friday's never got you this excited before. Uh, Pastor? Hmm? It's not Friday I'm excited about. Well, uh, Didn't you get my email? Well, I mean, I... I mean, I got an email from you this morning. Mm. I couldn't read it, though. I, I just assumed it was spyware. No, or no, it was in my uh, native tongue. That's why you uh, couldn't read it. You probably don't have the character set installed uh, on your operating system. Well, I can't. Well, you talked about doing that, but it's. Uh, oh, I don't even know what language it is you speak. Anyway, all right. Well, what was the message? Pastor, it was the birthday what? message. 
Oh no, no. Leonard! I'm hmm? so sorry. I didn't realize that it, I I, no, I didn't no, I didn't get no, a card or no, anything. No, Pastor, it's not my birthday today. That was last month. Remember? Oh, I know. No, it's my country's birthday. Oh, today is my country's 800th birthday. Oh, I didn't know that, Leonard. Wow, that's a 800 years. Well, congratulations for you and your. What was the name of your country again? Belles Texas, then. What? Now that email I sent you, that was a forward. That was my government, my homeland country's mm-hmm. government, formally requesting if it was all right if I sang our national anthem on your. Radio program. Oh, oh, okay, sure. I, I have no problem with that, Leonard. That that sounds like a real treat. All right. Um, Hokey dokey. Well, uh, I have a very traditional arrangement on oh, a CD, CD oh, three there on okay. the deck there. Where? On Where? Deck. I don't see. Yeah, just it. press play on that. Oh, that one. Okay, I will yeah, sing it. for you the traditional arrangement of my country's national anthem. Oh, well, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here is uh, Leonard Vizelznik, and he is going to sing the national anthem of his home country of Glas Glas. Here's Leonard singing his national anthem. Okay, let it rip. Right. Na sa te sa nu fa no tsnya tsnya fa te ta tu Nya sa tnya fa din tsnya ta la ta tsu na bi to What happened? Did the music... Why, did Leonard, put those glow sticks down. What was that just now? That was my national anthem, of course. You know, like, what do you think we were playing here? You said that was a traditional arrangement, Leonard. Well, it is. We only had it composed 40 years ago. Your country hasn't had a national anthem for 796 years. Well, it was sort of an administrative oversight. We'll be right back after this message. Tonight on Animal World, it's Blair Blaisdell, the dog psychic. He can read your dog's mind. This week, Blair travels to Boston, Massachusetts to help a desperate woman's Jack Russell Terrier. Oh, Mr. Blaisdell, my little sweetie Wheatykins is so despondent, isn't there? Anything at all you can do to help him. Well, Mrs. Terwilliger, I'm reading your dog's mind right now, and he's thinking uh, poop. I'd like to go outside and poop. He's also thinking about how his balls taste like steak. That's Blair Blaisdell, the dog psychic. He can read your dog's mind. But smell is good. Jerome, I was kind of watching television. My dear Bronson, as much as I am a huge proponent of the entertainment value of cable, we have to get off our butts and get to work, because I just booked our band for a concert this weekend. Oh, sweet. What band are we in? Dude, it's our Steely Dan tribute band that we put together, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember that now. Oh, uh, Jerome, there's a couple of things about this tribute band I, I thought I should mention to you. Like what? Well, first off, uh, Steely Dan gained popularity in the mid to late 1970s with their complex arrangements of jazz-tinged popular music. And two months ago, you'll recall, we had to give up our chances of being in a punk band because we only knew one chord instead of the prerequisite three. Oh, uh, well, that could be a little bit of a problem, but I don't think it's an insurmountable one. Secondly, uh, we're not really a band. There are only the two of us. Uh, well, uh, you can be Walter Becker and I'll be Donald Fagan then. Good point, but how will we handle the complex arrangements of the music? We'll do it the same way Steely Dan did. We'll just hire really competent session musicians. Oh, yeah, good thinking there. What's the name of our band, by the way? Angular Banjos. Sounds good to me. When are we playing? Tomorrow night. We really better get practicing. Who are we playing with, by the way? Oh, hang on. Let me see here. Oh, yeah. We're playing with uh, Terrapin Station, which is a Grateful Dead tribute band. And we're playing uh, with Numb Booty, which is a Parliament Funkadelic tribute band. Dude, how long is this concert? 27 hours. I'll bring my Game Boy. And to discuss the musical implications of the previous sketches, our panel of guest experts. Keith Richards, Ozzy Osbourne, and James Brown. Keith, let's start with you. Uh, I thought the joke was crap. <laughs> There's never been a really big steal you down. <laughs> I don't know what that kind of pussy means. Again. I didn't really like it. it was, although Katie Lyle was a really good record. <laughs> it was a good... I have to really disagree good. with oh, you, Keith, because I never <laughs> think it was Steely Dan. I was a great band. Uh, you know, I just uh, thought they were <laughs> really... Black Sabbath, you know, I just listen to Steely Dan all the time. If 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay. Uh, well, that presents a little bit of a problem. I wonder what I'm going to do next. I have an idea to help you. Yeah, you were supposed to be one of the pile of the corpses over there on the floor there. What happened? You can't kill me. I'm everyone's favorite character. I'm the breakout one. Well, what do you know about that? And now it's the Leonard Show starring uh, me, Leonard Vizelznik. Hold it. Yay! I get to do anything I want. Hold it. I get hold to do it. anything well, I want. Well, hold it. Can... Hold your horses there, you know. Once everything's all settled down in the back there, I'm going to get everybody back up from the dead and I'm going to put them all back the way they were. Oh. Nothing ever goes my way. I didn't even get to finish my anthem and I was about to get to the rap part. That's the best bit. Well, why didn't you say so? Why don't you go to that part there and we'll finish out the show while I revive the producer. Really? All right, hit it! <laughs> And that, as they say, is that. Thank you so much for listening. I have been your host, Kyan Chris Conroy, and this has been Technical Difficulties. I'd like to thank all of you uh, folks out there who send me email, which you can if you send it to uh, techdiff, T-E-K-D-I-F-F, at gmail.com. Uh, thanks once again. I got some really cool emails from people over the last, uh, last week. Kim Delaire. Is that right? Did I get it? Um, and her boyfriend, uh, David Underwood, who, if you might want to check out the Queen's English podcast um, at the at queens-english.blogspot.com. Check out David's show. It's very funny. One-man comedy podcast. We're taking over the world that way. And with uh, occasional writing help from his girlfriend, Kim Delar. Delaire. Ha. Anyway, um... And uh, what else? Oh, uh, check out strangebrainradio.com uh, with uh, Rusty Bender. I helped Rusty out with his latest show. I don't know if that show is, I think it's up, but if um, that, yeah, it's up. It's his, uh, his latest, um, his latest uh, podcast. I did a little, he sent me a script and I wrote it on uh, my end there. So there you go. And if you have any audio you'd like to send me, all you can send that to techdiff at gmail.com or head on over to techdiff.com and Plunk a comment down. I've gotten, as I said before, some nice emails. And at the end of next month will be the audience participation show. So if you have any ideas for sketches that you would like to send my way for me to put up and do strange things with, then please feel free to send it along to me and I'll put up the show and you'll get credit and your ideas will be on a podcast and you can tell all your friends for all the good it'll do you. Just watch the money pour in and the sexual offers and all that kind of good stuff. And as usual, I... I ask that you check out uh, Manly Geek and Strange Bane Radio and El Nacho's Rambling, Rambling Retard Rampage because those guys are great and they're funny and I supported my uh, podcasting habit and have helped out with my stuff there. I know I've forgotten a few podcasters who like my Chub, Chub Creek and, oh God. You know, I'm just going to get yelled at because I forgot to mention some people in there. <sighs> All right, well, anyway, if you have any promos you want to send me, also Gmail. If you want to comment, head on over to techdiff.com. If you'd like to hear my wife's podcast, her interview podcast, uncomfortable-questions.com. And if you want to see what our gruesome kissers look like, then head on over to uh, uh, channelsurfingwipeout.com and check out our video feed podcast. And we'll be adding more to that, which is getting spectacular hits for no apparent reason. And um, the like. So thank you so much for doing that kind of thing there that you're doing there. Thank you. Uh, for listening. Ha! And uh, I will be back again next week with even more comedy. So thanks, and see you next time. Bye! So, do you have children, or are you just a child at heart? In which case, Saturday Story Circle might be a good place to kickstart your weekend. Because we have the very best of family-friendly audio, which is all rated G for great. Join us on the main Mutual Audio Network feed, or you can find us at the Saturday Story Circle, wherever you get your podcasts. The Mutual Audio Drama Network, where we listen and imagine together.